Do you want to change your Seller Central name that shows up on the back end? This video is for you. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. I originally created my account and called it Monster. Since then, I've added like five brands and I was like, you know, I really just want to see Age of Sage on the back end of Seller Central. It was just kind of a, just a personal preference. Well, I renamed the display name and I still saw a Monster on the back end of Seller Central. And I was like, why is that? Well, turns out because Amazon is now using the global user setting, that's why I had to do it a different way. Here's the good news, folks. This is actually really easy to fix. You just have to know exactly where to go. And that was actually something I didn't know how to do until I made this video. So in the top right, you need to be logged in to your main admin user. If you're wondering, am I logged into my main user admin? Go to the settings in the top right and go to user permissions. The email address that does not have the delete button is the main admin email. Log into that one. Once you're logged into that, go put your cursor on settings again and click on global accounts. That'll bring up this page. And you'll see this nice little button here that says rename. And when you click that, you can put whatever you want in here. This will rename the back end of Seller Central. Now, previously, this was linked to your display name. This is no longer the case. This was a change. It kind of took me off by guard. I was like, I can't freaking understand how to make this change. So in the past, if you watched my video on how to change a display name, that would change this nice little icon right here, sold by Age of Sage. And when you click on the Age of Sage, you'll see uh, the store front, not to be confused with the brand store, but the store front and everything that that particular uh, store is selling. The brand store link is up here. To rename this attribute, you actually have to change the brand name. And on the difficulty level, that's a nine out of 10. Uh, but changing the display name, that's a one out of 10. And changing the global backend display name is a one out of 10 if you know how to do it. It's a 10 out of 10 if you don't know how to do it, but now you've watched this video, you know how to do it. We put videos out like this all the time, just technical short tutorial videos on how to solve the most complicated things in Seller Central. Because if you ask seller support how to do this, they don't freaking give you the right answer and it's just a giant mess. So appreciate you watching. If you have a technical problem that you can't find the answer, first thing, Google my Amazon guy problem, whatever your problem is, probably have a video on it. I got like 1200 videos out there already. But if you, you know, add a comment to this video with whatever problem you have, I will direct you to the right resource. And if I don't have one, I will make one for you. So leave that comment. Let me know how I can help. Thanks for watching.